What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the wedding? There isn't going to be one, Holden. I just thought that I could pull it off. I, I thought that I could get back here before... Before I found out that you flew to France on our wedding day to pick up your ex-wife? I wasn't going to lie to you about it. Then why didn't you tell me about it before you left? Because you thought that I would try to talk you out of it. If you had asked me not to go, I wouldn't have. And I needed to know that Lily was okay. Is she okay? Yeah. Would she have been okay if you hadn't flown to France? I, I, I don't know. Probably, maybe. I, I, I don't know. What's with the suitcase? Are you heading over to the Lakeview? Uh, I'm leaving. Molly, I got stuck on a flight. Uh, the weather was bad. We had refueling issues in, in Canada. <laughs> do you think the details are important Listen, I, to me, I know really? that you're really upset, but we can still do this. It's not too late. We can still get married. No, we can't. Hold it. Molly, why, why are you leaving me? Because I love you. I don't even know that you love me. I love you very much. And if you say you love me, then, then why are you doing this? You gotta help me out here. You gotta tell me what to say. It's what you should have said before you got on that plane. You're right. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I should have told you. I should have told you what I was doing. No, you should have said no. Maybe for once, for the first time ever, you shouldn't have been there for Lily. You should have said no, not today, not on my wedding day. Oh, she has, she has everybody in the world there for her. I had this day, this wedding, and you. It won't happen again. It will. No, it won't. Have I ever broken a promise to you? No. No. Because I've never asked you to promise me anything. Not when it made you choose between me and her because I knew that I would lose. That's not true. Yeah. You chose her. You did. You may not realize it. She may not even realize it, but I do. Molly, look. We need to get past this. Yeah, we can. And I can make you happy. But I can't be happy sitting here waiting for the next time Lily's gonna need you and take you away from no, me. No, that will never happen, Molly. I chose you. I did. Let me be your husband. Let me give you the life that you've always wanted. I want to promise to love you forever. Let me do that. Give me the chance to make that happen. You're just gonna leave? You're not gonna give me a chance to to make things right? I am done with married men. What are you talking about? <sighs> Hold it, ring or no ring. <sighs> you are the most married man I've ever known. Well, it's just because I, I went to help I Lily doesn't mean... I to be with someone who's all mine. Someone that I have to share with somebody else. When I think of the example that I've set for Abigail, it makes me sick. What, what, what does Abby have to do with this? Everything. I have loved you for so long. You are the best man that I have ever known. But if I marry you, I will be settling. Settling for a life with someone who loves someone else more than he loves me. And I don't want to teach that to our daughter. Molly, what can I say? What can I do? I, um, I asked Abigail to call everybody to tell them so that they'll be waiting around for the bride and groom. We can just move on. What about Ethan? What about Natalie? 
couldn't look at them and tell them. I just... Please. I really... I have to do this quickly or I'm not going to be able to do it. And I really have to do this, okay? Uh, Abigail's coming to get me.